friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today we are doing three easy last minute Christmas manis featuring Maniology plates and MJ Lacquer polishes. This is one of my favorite videos to do, so I hope you enjoy it. And if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe and <laughs> select the notification so you never miss an upload. So I am out with nails prepped with red eyed lacquers smooth as butter. And we are going to use one of MJ Lacquer's cream polishes. This one is Crimson Rose. And we're also going to use one of her indie style polishes, Whatever is Lovely. And we're also going to be using some red stamping polish from Maniology called Red Hot. Down below, I will have 10% off codes for both Maniology and MJ Lacquer. MJ Lacquer's, there's no, um, <laughs> there's no commission on it. It's just a way of her saying thank you to her customers. And for Maniology, I do get a commission off of it. Um, which I usually end up putting right back into nail polish for my channel. And we've got both of those fingers done. And we're going to add in the Crelly for the accent nails. I remember as soon as I saw Whatever's Lovely, I immediately thought of Peppermint Bark and... It really meant that it would be a great polish for Christmas manis. So I am continuing with my Manny mask from Maniology. I'll make sure to put the code down below. I keep forgetting. But I like it because it doesn't have the latex smell to it. But it still does a good job of protecting my cuticles when I'm stamping because very rarely will I stamp anything without it going outside my nails. But anyway, I had the idea that I wanted to do like some peppermint nails with a peppermint design. But I also wanted to do like stripes on one of my accent nails um, to <laughs> give it a peppermint look as well. So that means plate M053 comes into play pretty well because I can use it to do that because it has like the solid lines on it. And then there's M167, which um, comes in the spruce up bundle, I believe. And I grabbed it during Black Friday because I really didn't need the two polishes that came with it. But I definitely, definitely needed some Christmas-themed stamping in my life that would really get me in the mood for the holidays. So now that I have the pattern, we're going to go in and do the stripes. So I'm actually liking the short stripe, but I thought about it and it was like, as we get to that point where it's covering the most nail surface, I might need one of the longer ones. But I chose the one that's just like a solid line and did just a diagonal stripe and then another diagonal stripe. And it's important when you're doing the lines not to um, scrape straight across, I think. It just does a better job when you don't. Next up, is going to be a green theme and we're starting with Be The Change from MJ Lacquer. And then we're continuing with Pine because Pine is known for stamping really well. And then we're going to, for the accent color, use Cozy, which I'm so happy I got my Cozy. Um, that actually wasn't a bad customer service experience for me. As soon as I notified Maniology that I didn't get it, they were already on it, sending another one in its place. So that made me really happy. Like I didn't even get any hassle about it or drama. 
and I'm doing all of the nails in Be The Change because I just really liked this polish from the moment I saw it. I didn't think Christmas. I was just like, wow. <laughs> and I don't have any really sparkly, gorgeous, like green teals in my life. So I wanted to make sure that I utilized it for this design. And then I've got plate M167 again. And I like the trees and I like the tis the season. I think that they're both very good for the season and kind of festive without being like obnoxious. So for this design, I wanted to do like a whole double stamp kind of theme. And I've got pine because I figured that pine was darker and solid. And I put it on one of my accent nails. And now I'm going to stamp over pine with cozy. And we'll see how this goes because I did not test it out beforehand. So, so far so good. I knew the cozy would stamp nicely. I just wanted to see if it would stand out with a darker background. And now I'm going in for my accent nail. I actually considered doing like a reverse of what I did on my middle finger. So I'm starting out with Cozy first. And like you can totally barely see it. And I thought if I put Pine over top of it and kind of like double stamped it, it would turn out okay. And notice, guys, I am saying this in past tense. I'm speaking in past tense because, like, you totally could not see tis the season on my nail. So, we had to start all over from the beginning. So, I did peel it off, repaint it, and now I'm going to try it again. But, like I did before with the dark underneath, and then like the gold stamping accent over the top, but we're also going to do a little reverse stamping because I don't want to take the chance that my Tis the Season won't show up. So I'm pulling out my MJ Lacquer Shania Rose, sorry, and I'm going to go ahead and fill in the spot where it says tis the season and I paused because I totally forgot I don't know if it's Shani Rose or Shani Rose and I'm sorry that like I completely forgot and then I decided that I really wanted to use it on the leaves too so now I'm going to use my sticky base coat from Maniology and there has been some controversy over do you need a sticky base coat when you do reverse stamping? I like to use one because I like to make sure it's going to stick that first time. And we are moving on to the next design with Sapphire Rose from MJ, Retrograde from Maniology, and Frozen from Maniology, and also... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Also, Blizzard from Maniology. Do, am I going to pick enough polishes in here? And, of course, the lovely white polish with the white shimmer that I completely forgot how to pronounce the name. I know, guys. I am so sorry. So, I'm going ahead and I'm putting on my Sapphire Rose. This blue really stood out to me. I believe it was part of the fall collection of creams that got released. And all I could say was, goodness gracious, how gorgeous is this blue? And it's kind of shimmery too, so it makes me feel more festive. And I think like this white polish is the reason why I've been so moody like for the past day because um 
After doing this design, I used a white polish by another brand and it was kind of thin and it just didn't cover as well as Shania Rose. So I was just really disappointed with the other brand. So I don't think that I'll be using it again. I think it's Shania Rose all the way if I'm doing white. So I'm stamping on some blue polish in hopes of making like some pretty blue ornaments because if I had a tree, I would like it to be blue. Originally, I thought cotton candy pink was going to be my thing, but I still love blue. So I have stamped the ornaments over the blue and now I'm trying to get my little cute phrase stamped on my nail. And then I'm going to top this design with retrograde because I just really like that it's this pale multi-chrome, but it looks better when it's not by itself. When it's by itself, it's super, super sheer, like to the point where I would need to have non-stained nails to wear it. <laughs> and that's not going to happen. I love nail polish too much. It it's just a thing. So now that the design is done, of course, we need to get some top coat in the picture. I'm using Red Eye Lacquer's Tip Top to put some shine and protect these designs because it's precious to me. Once I have it on my nail, I really don't like it to leave until I'm ready to do another design. So that is going to be it for me for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it inspires you. And they're really quick so that if it's a last minute nail design, it won't be too complicated. Thank you guys again for watching. And I hope if you're new to my channel, you'll consider subscribing. If you like this video, don't forget to let me know down below and let me know which design you like best. Happy holidays.